Everybody praise the Lord. On your bulato no chineke. A jegule to no chineke. A jegule praise the Lord. A jegule to no chineke. A jegule praise our Lord. Something good is coming your way. In your preaching, I'm talking to somebody there. Somebody is getting a miracle tonight. Pastor Joseph Ogbonna, I'm talking to somebody there. Somebody is getting a miracle tonight. Power is striking somebody there 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 And the time to run. A miracle has landed on your house today. You need to pay attention. Because tonight. Everybody say tonight. I said say tonight. You will see what you have never seen. You will hear what you have never heard. Because God has come specially to visit you. Brain problem will vanish away. Tumor cancer will vanish away. Anyone they tied down. They are beholding you down. I lose you tonight in the name of Jesus. Raise up that and let me see you. Father in the name of Jesus. I glorify you tonight. We worship you tonight. We know tonight is a spectacular night. Lord, I come with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And Lord, the prophecy goes forth to everyone. You will not go back home like you came in Jesus' name. Lord, manifest your power tonight. Save the sinner tonight. Deliver the oppressed tonight. And Lord, I pray the miracle that anyone needs, everyone needs. Grant each one the miracle right now. And I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much. You can sit down. We glorify the name of the Lord for such a day like this. Tonight, we're not going to waste time. We're going to dive into the word of God. And then at the end, we're going to pray. Something is happening to you. I said something will happen to you. What am I talking about tonight? I want to talk to you on the destruction of the destroyer. The destruction of the destroyer. That evil personality. That one they call principalities and powers. The devil, the champion of the destroyers. That have been waging war against your life. That said, you will not move forward. Tonight, we clear him out of your way. The one that wants to destroy your life. And destroy your health. And destroy your family. And destroy your business. I come tonight to announce to you. The destruction of the destroyer has now come. In Revelation chapter 18... Revelation chapter 18. I'm reading here from verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that she receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven. And God has remembered her iniquity. That's talking about Babylon. You find Babylon in chapter 14. And in verse 8. 
chapter 14 verse 8. It says, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling, is falling. The great city, because she made all the nations drink of the wine, of the wrath of her fornication. The picture of Babylon is a picture of the enemy that wants to destroy and has destroyed many lives. And thank God you are here tonight. Whatever you have lost in your life, tonight is the night of recovery. And in any way the devil has been pursuing you with the powers of Babylon. Powers of occultism. Powers of evil. Thank God tonight you are here. Am I talking to somebody there tonight? Tonight, Babylon will fall from your life in Jesus' name. That's why it makes the announcement. Announcement from heaven. And it says Babylon is falling, is falling. It is a story coming on from the time of Exodus. At that time, the enemy was Pharaoh and Egypt. Oppressing the people of God. Waylaying the people of God. Double crossing their way that you will not pass. But eventually, God came to them through Moses and said, let my son go. Tonight, child of God there. Tonight, creature of God there. If God made you to stay on this face of the earth, if you did not create yourself, if Satan did not create you, and you came out of the hand of the Almighty God, and Pharaoh said, you will not go. Tonight, you are free. That Red Sea will not hinder you. Anything in life will not hinder you. Tonight I come to tell you, Pharaoh perished at the Red Sea. And the children of Israel passed over. I'm looking at somebody there tonight. You are passing over. I said you are passing over. All the things that hindered you. And they said no way. I said there is a way. They said you cannot go. I said you are going. They said you cannot succeed. I said you will succeed. They said you will not prosper. You see them in the day. You see them in the night. They say you will not make it. I said your enemies are liars. You will make it. Your husband will make it. Your wife will make it. You don't have children. That's why we're here. All the six, all the personalities hinder you from your miracle children. Tonight, they will lose you and you will go free. The destruction of the destroyer. Tonight, God will destroy the devil out of your life. The destruction of the destroyer. There are three things we are talking about. Tonight is for warfare. Did you hear me? I said tonight is for warfare. Because Pharaoh does not like an easy hand. The oppressors, they do not like an easy hand. But tonight, the gate of the kingdom is open. And the violent will take it by force. You will take your blessing tonight. If you are a man, be a man tonight. If you are a boy, be a boy tonight. If you have been fighting on the street, that, that kind of fight, that one is not good. You will fight Satan tonight, you will knock him on the ground. 
All those evil spirits that said, no, you will not go, you will not go. You will, you will not say, eh, please, let me go. And tonight is warfare night. You will stand and look at your enemy eyeball to eyeball. And you will say, get out of that way. A conqueror is coming. A champion is coming. A victor is coming. Am I talking about somebody there? I said, am I talking about somebody there? And when you stand in the name of Jesus, covered by the blood of Jesus, with the uniform of the anointing of the Holy Ghost, they will get out of the way. You will pass through. Somebody there. I said you will pass through. I'm talking to somebody over there. I said you will pass through. You will not see them again. These Egyptians you have seen until today. Congratulations my brother. Congratulations my sister. You will not see them again anymore in Jesus name. I'm going to talk about three things before we pray. Number one, tearing down Satan's palace. Tearing down Satan's palace. Because we need to tear it down tonight. That palace of occultism will tear it down tonight. That seat of occultism where they plan where they take your name, where they hold your destiny, where they start trample over you. That palace of Satan against your life, tonight we come to tear it down. Tearing down Satan's palace. Number two, turning away from sinful practices. Let me tell you, Satan does not know church goer. Satan does not know religious people. Satan doesn't care whether you're on this side of the fence or you're on the other side of the fence. Satan does not care whether you worship at the riverside or you worship on the sand. But he has a chain. He has a cord. We in our ordinary language, we call it sin. We say sin. Somebody says, you are a sinner. Somebody says, you commit sin. Satan knows that as a chain. And then all the sins we commit, he uses them like chain. To tie us down. Have you seen that goat they tied there? And has rope on the neck. The people once they tie the goat. And they tie it to that pole. The goat can dance around the pole. The goat can do whatever. The person who tied that goat there. Knows that he cannot go beyond the length of the rope. What we call sin is a cord, it's a chain, it's a rope that Satan uses in tying somebody on the pole. And he knows that I am the owner of the goat. Goat can dance, keep on dancing. Goat can jump and run, keep on jumping and running. He knows that as long as I tie that goat to the pole, I am the owner. When I want to use it for dinner, I go to take it and then I roast it. Satan will not roast you up. Are you there? I said Satan will not roast you for chop. Tonight, you will turn away from that sin. We're going to break this chain tonight. This cord tonight. We're going to break this cord. I see you getting free tonight. 
Somebody there, somebody there, somebody there. I see you getting free tonight. Satan will put his, if he has finger, he'll put his finger at the mouth and say, Ah, he's gone. You're going. Turn away from sinful practices. Number three now. Trust fully in the Savior's power. There is a power near you there tonight. The power that is irresistible. The power that is unstoppable. It's the Savior's power. And as you connect with the Savior tonight, explosion of power. I said explosion of power. Somebody help me shout out power. Your deliverance has come. One, two, three. After that, number three. Then you and I will begin to pray together. And it will happen. I'm talking to you. I said it will happen. Number one. Tearing down Satan's palace. Now, you may not be able to find a place in the Bible if you have not been reading the Bible too often. It's Amos chapter 3. If you, if you don't know where it is, don't worry, I'll read it to you. Amos chapter 3. And I'm reading from verse 10. The palace of the enemy. Where they decide what they're going to do with your life. Well, your lie to them is like a sheet of paper. They tear the paper when they want. They put dirty things on the paper when they want. Your lie to the enemy is like a sheet of paper. They can write bad things there. They can put blots there. They can spill blood there. After all, what's his life worth? In the sight of God, your life is precious. In the palace of Satan. Where the seed as the center of diabolical power. To control your life. To control your destiny. The seed of evil plants. That's the dungeon of the captives. Once that Satan holds you. And he draws you to the palace. Coming back will take a miracle. That miracle is here tonight. I said that miracle is here tonight. The palace of Satan is a camp of slavery. If, if you get a beautiful girl. The palace of Satan, they will entice you. They are looking for a slave. They, they need slaves to sacrifice. And so as they wave these before you, then you follow them. And you get into the camp of slavery. That's the place they bargain for the sale of your soul. The palace of Satan. They are bargaining on you. How much is she worth? How much is he worth? Nobody will sell your soul into the hands of Satan. Because tonight, I say tonight, I see you there. Thank God you came. One step more, you're free. I said one step more, you're free. The palace of Satan is that secret hideout of deception and wickedness. We did destroy lives. But you heard that something good is happening here. And you have come. Congratulations that you are here. That palace of Satan that is uh, trying to decide on your destiny will tear it down today. Amos chapter 3 verse 10. For they know not to do right. Says the Lord. 
who store up violence and robbery in their palaces. They don't know how to do right. They store up violence in their palaces. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, an adversary there shall be even round about the land. And it shall break down thy strength from thee. He's talking to the enemy, he's talking to Satan. And thy palace shall be spoiled. The palace of Satan, which you war against your life, will be spoiled. The power of God will tear it down. The announcement from heaven will tear it down. The power of the blood of Jesus will tear it down. The dynamite of the Holy Ghost, the bulldozer of the Holy Ghost, will tear down that palace of Satan against your life tonight in Jesus' name. Because tonight there's power. Somebody there said tonight there is power. The power that passes other powers. The power that breaks every yoke. The power that brings salvation to the sinner. The power that sets the captives free. And all those palaces of Satan, all the power of their shrine, tonight is the night. I said tonight is your night. Tear it down. The palace tear it down. If you have made any covenant with them, they are using the covenant to monitor your destiny. They are using the covenant you made with those evil people to monitor your progress. And you cannot go beyond your master. That master is Satan. If he sees that you are getting happy and he is not happy, he will pull you back. That's why tonight, all the covenants you made with that evil power, tonight we are breaking it. Tonight we are tearing it down. If you have been looking for happiness, happiness has come. Joy has come. And victory has come. Uh, look at Luke chapter 11. And I'm reading here from verse 21. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. That's talking about the palace of Satan. It's a, it's a man. It's an enemy. It's a powerful enemy. It's a strong enemy. He keeps his palace. All his captives are in there and there's nothing touching them. But then he tells us about the next verse. He says, but when he's stronger than he shall come upon him. Jesus is that stronger one. The Savior is that stronger one. He says, I am that I am. The first and the last. He says, all power in heaven on earth is given unto me. And he comes with that power tonight. He comes with that anointing tonight. And somebody is getting free. Somebody is being delivered. And Satan will not hold you down. Because it says, when he's stronger than he shall come upon him, he taketh away from him all his armor, wherein he trusted and divideth the spoils. It's coming now, it's coming your way. That's number one. I said, that's number one. When Jesus died on the cross of Calvary. And he said, it is finished. That means that palace is torn down. Why are you still there? When the palace has been torn down? Because you were tied with a cord to the pole. Although the palace is down. 
and you can be free. But sin ties you to the pole. And Satan is still claiming you. He says, yes, I know that it is finished. But he's still my slave. He's still my captive. He's still my boy. He's still my daughter. Now, the next point. We're going to remove that chain that ties you to the pole. Somebody there? I said, are you still there? Or do you want us to leave you in the pole, still tied there? You enjoy the chain. You say, after all, uh, even though I'm tied to the pole, I still move a little bit. Have you, have you seen that goat? The goat is senseless. The goat does not have sense. The goat is still jumping and moving up and down. And because there's a circle in which that goat can move, the goat thought she was free. It's only when the goat tries to go beyond the length of the rope that you understand, he's not free. Somebody wants freedom tonight. Somebody wants deliverance tonight. Somebody is asking for forgiveness tonight. Somebody wants salvation tonight. Point number two now. Turn away from sinful practices. You know the people of Nineveh. Satan possessed everyone. From the highest to the lowest. From the king even to the poorest person. There was wickedness. And that was the thing Satan was using to keep them. And there was violence in their hands. There was fighting. There was immorality. You see them on the streets of Nineveh. It will be like they do not have any sense at all. If the person that ought to wear clothes will not wear clothes. And then even if they see vehicles come in. They dare the vehicles because they are having their time until Jonah came. And Jonah did not even tell them that they should break the chain. Jonah said, you are bad people. Bad people die, you will die. Jonah said, you are cultic people. Or cultic people are wicked people. Wicked people die, you will die. Jonah said, you are an enemy to the children of Israel. Enemies of Israel must die, you will die. He didn't even tell them that they should turn away from their sin. He went on in Nineveh. And he said, Nineveh, 40 days finished. You are gone. 40 days, you are gone. All of a sudden, the people realized our destiny is coming to an end. Your destiny will not come to an end. All of a sudden, the people realized death has come. Satan is going to roast us in the fire. This thing that ties us now, we have to be free. And the king began to talk to the people. Where Jonah stopped, the king began to preach to them. He said, everyone, turn away from your sin. Let us break this court. Let us break this rope. And you know, they all accepted. Have you seen a city? Like our city here. I said, our great city here. Hello, are you there? I said, are you there? Our great city here will repent. Give me a good amen. The whole of the city, the king told them, every one of you, did you hear the message? Judgment has come. The end has come. We are tied to the rope. If we don't take a decision now, we are finished. He said, turn. You turn. Woman, turn. Man, turn. All of a sudden, everybody began to turn. 
the proud became humble. The drunkard became sober. Those who were fighting said, I fight no more. All the people that were doing nightclub business, they said, were packing up. And God said, Jonah, look at these people. They will not die anymore. I'm looking at you tonight. I said you will not die anymore. I'm looking at you tonight. Satan will not throw you in the fire of hell anymore. I said I'm looking at you tonight. I'm looking at somebody who is free. Judgment will pass over you. Punishment will pass over you. Calamity will pass over you. Forgiveness has come. Freedom has come. Redemption has come. They all turned. Somebody is turning there. I said somebody is turning there. I said somebody is turning there. The chain and the yoke that the devil has used to tie you down. Thank God tonight you are turning away from that. And the Lord will set you free in Jesus' name. Are you still there? Will you turn? Of course. Will you be free? Of course. Will you be forgiven? Of course. Look at Ezekiel chapter 18. Ezekiel chapter 18. I'm reading from the middle part of verse 30. It says, repent and turn yourselves. Repent and turn yourselves. You know, it's not me that will come and turn you. I just give you the information. And I tell you something good is waiting for you. If you're going to get that thing that is good, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. Cast away from you. All your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart. Make you a new heart. Old character, bye bye. Old fighting, bye bye. Old drunkenness, bye bye. Join me now, help me say, Old drunkenness, bye bye. I can't hear you. I'm waiting for you. Night club. Bye bye. Let me hear you. Make you a new heart. And your life will become new. Your family will become new. Everything you do, everything will turn better in Jesus' name. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dies, says the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves and leave ye. The Lord is saying that as you turn today, every sin you ever committed since you were born, God will forgive you. You turn and you'll be liberated. You turn, you'll be forgiven. You turn, you will be free. You turn tonight, you will be saved. Somebody is getting saved tonight. Your name will enter into the book of life in heaven. Because you turn. You say, I don't belong to Satan anymore. What are you? I don't belong to Satan anymore. I said, I don't belong to Satan anymore. I belong to Jesus. He is my Savior. He is my Lord. He is my Redeemer. He died for me on the cross of Calvary. Satan, bye-bye. Satan, bye-bye. Satan, bye-bye. I am going to Jesus. If they knock at my door, if that is Satan, I am not at home for you. If they knock at my door, if that's a member of the gang, I am not at home for you. Tell them I have gone with Jesus. Somebody there, tell them I have gone with Jesus. Life will come to you. 
Resurrection will come to you. Salvation will come to you. He will write your name in the book of life. Your life will be new. Your heart will be new. Your brain will be new. Your business will be new. Your family will be new. Am I talking about somebody there tonight? Everything about you within, without, around will be new in Jesus' name. You turn and you will be healed. You have the testimony of our brother tonight. What that terrible, terrible challenge. The hand of the Almighty God touched him. He was healed. It has come to your turn. You will be healed. He was delivered. It is your turn. You will be delivered tonight. And then when you are liberated from the dungeon and the palace of Satan, you will escape death. Untimely death. Perpetual death. Death in hellfire. Thank God tonight you are there. Because I know that tonight is your night of salvation. Tonight is your night of freedom. Look at this man I'm looking at. You will not perish. Look at this woman I'm looking at here. You will not perish. Jesus the Savior has come for you. Jesus your Lord has come for you. He's snatching you out of the hand of Satan tonight. You turn from your sinful practices. As you turn like this, you turn to the power. You turn to supernatural power tonight. And tonight you trust fully in the Savior's power. Tonight you turn fully. And you trust in the supernatural power of God. Just a few minutes now. That power will descend upon your life. As you join hands with the Lord. As you cooperate with the Lord. And then you pray, I pray. I pray and you pray. And you take the same decision that I am taking. And you say, I belong to Jesus. I don't belong to Satan anymore. Bulldozer power. Miracle working power. Mountain moving power. Will come upon your life right there in Jesus name. In Luke chapter 4. Reading there from verse 14. Just listen, listen. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. What the power of the Spirit is. The power of the Holy Ghost. I feel that power. Do you feel that power tonight? Do you sense that power tonight? That's why you will never go back as you came in Jesus' name. The name of Jesus will set you free. The blood of Jesus will wash you clean. The power of the Holy Ghost will transform your life. When you get back home, people will see you. They'll see a new man. A new woman. Because every negative thing has turned to positive. Jesus returned in the power of the Holy Ghost. In verse 18, he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. That gospel is coming to you. It is the good news. The good news of forgiveness. The good news of freedom. The good news of healing. The good news of deliverance. He says, he has anointed me to preach that good news to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. If you are if you're sorrowful because you have been suffering and your heart is broken, your life is broken, your family is broken, your business is broken, there is a mending hand of God tonight coming to mend everything in your life. And to preach deliverance to the captives. And the recovering of sights to the blind. 
blind eyes will open tonight. Those dim eyes will become clear. If you are blind spiritually, it will open your eyes. Blind physically, it will open your eyes. And to set at liberty them that are bruised. Liberty. Chains broken. Fetters broken. All the, all the cords broken. They tied you to that pole. No progress all these many years. You're loosed tonight in Jesus' name. And to preach, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. In verse 21, and he began to say unto them, This day, this day, somebody there, this day, when is your deliverance? This day, when is your salvation there? This day, when is your healing there? This day, when is your redemption? This day, when is your breakthrough? This day, this day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. There is a performance tonight coming upon your life. There is a demonstration of miracle power coming upon your life tonight. Because Jesus went about doing good and healing all that are oppressed of the devil and delivering all that are kept in captivity by the devil and saving all that are tied by the cord of sin. Tonight your salvation has come. And they, I'm going to finish up with the announcement Jesus has made. You need to hear this. And you need to accept this. You need to hold on to this. And you need to know that your day has come. Your night has come. The hour of salvation has come to you. The hour of healing has come to you. And the hour of your deliverance has now come. Matthew 28 verse 18. Jesus came and spake unto them saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. No other power matters. All the power you have been running after, all the, that's not power. All that is deception. Look at your life after all the sacrifice you have made. But now Jesus is power. His name is power. His word is power. His salvation will bring power to your life. He says all power. All power. All power is given unto me. In heaven and in earth. And he says because of that. Now you can come to Christ. The power to forgive he has. The power to liberate he has. The power to heal he has. The power to deliver he has. And the power to break every yoke in your life is here tonight. As you come to Christ, I say, Christ, I leave the past. I come to this new life. I come to Jesus Christ, who will save me, who will deliver me, who will set me free. He said, whosoever comes to him, he will in no wise cast off. He will receive you. He will accept you. And then he will forgive all the sins you ever committed in your life. He will release you into freedom. Release you into victory. And say, go and sin no more. Somebody is receiving that part tonight. Somebody. I said somebody. I said somebody. Somebody is not going to miss it tonight. Somebody is getting saved tonight. Somebody is turning around tonight. Somebody is having new life tonight. Are you there? Are you there? I said, are you there? It's bad and eyes closed. It's coming your way now. The forgiveness of the Lord is coming your way right now. Salvation has come. Forgiveness has come. 
freedom has come. It's about an eyes closed. Jesus Christ says he wants to forgive you. If you are ready, I say, yes, Jesus, I am here. I turn away from my sin. I turn away from the works of darkness. I want Jesus to be my savior. I want him to set me free. I want him to forgive me. I want him to change my destiny. I want him to give me salvation. If you are the person I'm talking about, you raise up your hand wherever you are. You are saying, yes, Jesus, I am here. I will not follow Satan anymore. You are saying, Jesus, I am here. That cord of Satan will be broken away from my neck today. If that's you, you raise up your hand. Where are you? Where are you? You raise up your hand. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. You are saying, I'm standing up, standing up for Jesus. Satan, bye-bye. Drunkenness, bye-bye. Fighting, bye-bye. Adultery, bye-bye. Fornication, bye-bye. Occultism, bye-bye. Jesus, Jesus, you are my savior from tonight. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. You are saying, I belong to Jesus from tonight. If you are raising up your hand, come right to the front and say, I'm going to Jesus now. Come right to the front. I leave my past. I leave all those darkness, of those things of darkness. I leave everything I've been doing in the past. Now I come. Now I come. Now I come. Jesus sets me free tonight. Jesus forgives me tonight. Jesus takes my yoke away tonight. Jesus is breaking my chain tonight. Jesus is setting me free tonight. Papa, come quickly. Mama, come quickly. My boy, come quickly. Young man, come quickly. Lady, come. Jesus is waiting for you. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. My daughter, there you can come. You can come and leave all your past behind. And as you come, don't, don't just stand there. Say, Satan, bye bye. Evil society, bye bye. And all the gangs, bye bye. Or call Jesus, bye bye. I leave all those things behind. No more drunkenness. Marijuana, bye bye. Cannabis, bye bye. All those hard drugs, bye bye. And street fighting, bye bye. All the shrine, bye bye. All the all the evil worship at the riverside, bye bye. I come to Christ. I come out, out of darkness. I come into the light, out of evil. I come to the grace of God. Welcome. 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 Heaven is receiving you now. You tell the Lord where you are. I come out of the hands of Satan. I'm not, I'm not going to be tied down anymore. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Savior. I will not go back to those things anymore. Jesus, thank you. You are my savior. Forgive me. Set me free. Liberate me. Let the joy of salvation come to me tonight. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Tell him, I believe. You have said, whosoever comes to you, you will know why it's cast out. And I come tonight. I come tonight. My sins are forgiven. I come tonight. I am saved. I am saved. I am saved. Heaven has confirmed it. Let's pray together. And you say this from the depth of your heart. Heavenly Father, I thank you tonight. Heavenly Father, my God, my Creator, I thank you tonight because I know that you, my Creator, you do not want me to perish. You do not want me to remain in the dungeon of Satan. 
Lord, I come out of my sin. Lord, I come out of the camp of the devil. I come out of the camp of the devil. I come out of all the bad things I've been doing. I come to Jesus tonight. Jesus, I believe you died for me. And you said, it is finished. You have broken the power of Satan from my life. Lord, I believe as I come to you, you will not cast me away. Lord, forgive me. Set me free. Give me a new life. Give me a new heart. Give me a new character. Lord Jesus, write my name in heaven. Lord Jesus, now I believe I will not perish. I will not go to hell. I will not be roasted in the fire of Satan. I believe my sins are not forgiven. I am saved. I am saved. I am saved. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Raise up those two hands. I surrender. All to Jesus, I surrender. As you have surrendered to Jesus, He will drive Satan away from your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your goodness upon your people. They have come to Christ as Savior and Lord. I pray, Lord, forgive them in Jesus' name. Save their souls right now. Write their names in the book of life in heaven. Confirm the joy of salvation in their hearts. And the peace of salvation in their hearts. And I pray the grace to continue with you. And not to go back to Satan. Give them that grace in Jesus name. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. I am saved. I am saved. Put those hands together for Jesus. Show you are saved. You are happy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Your time has come. The palace of Satan is torn down. Your time has come. All the cord of sickness, affliction, and demonic uh, power that is tying you to a pole tonight is broken. Miracle working power has now come. Healing power has now come. Deliverance power has now come. If you want healing, deliverance, miracle, you rise up on your feet. If you want prayer for healing, for deliverance, you raise up one hand. And then you lay the other hand where you have the problem. If you have brain insanity, you will be delivered. You have cancer, you will be healed. Any swelling in your body, it will vanish away. If you are blind, God will open your blind eyes, you will see. You brought anyone deaf and dumb after the final amen check upon them, they will hear. You have issue of blood for many years. Once we finish the prayer checkup, it will dry up. Whatever the problem, you have a testimony tonight. I said you have a testimony tonight. Raise up one hand. Lay the other hand where the problem is. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this glorious night. A night of power. A night of wonders. A night of healing. A night of deliverance. A night of supernatural miracle. 
I pray for all your people who are here. I send forth your power into their lives in Jesus' name. That spirit of madness and sanity, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. That swelling, any part of your body, I command that swelling now, vanish away, melt away in Jesus' name. All those evil spirits walking about in your body, tormenting your body, causing noise in your ear, and tormenting you, harassing you anyway, right now, I command you, evil spirit, come out in Jesus' name. I command that cancer there, dry up right now. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. That ulcer there, the Lord touch you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Asthma instantaneously now. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for the one that has the kidney problem. Let that, those kidneys that are dead come alive right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Appendicitis, be healed in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS, healing has come. That HIV AIDS problem, I command, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for the people that have any kind of a fibroid. I pray that that fibroid will melt away. Elephantiasis in the legs, be healed in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, whether you are deaf in one ear or deaf in both ears, the Lord is touching those ears right now. Be healed and begin to hear in Jesus' name. And those who are dumb, you have not been able to speak. The Lord is touching your vocal cords right now. Open your mouth and speak clearly in Jesus' name. Those are pains of arthritis. Pain at the waist. And the pain in the knees. And the pains in the joints of your body. I command that pain come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who had accidents and they have broken bones. Broken bones, be healed right now. Join together in Jesus' name. Those who are paralyzed in any way. Paralysis, I command you, come out. Paralysis, come out. Polio, come out. All that lameness, be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who are blind. The Lord touch your blind eyes. Receive your sight right now. That glaucoma, that cataract, come out in Jesus' name. Touch their blind eyes and make them to see clearly. Lord, from the top of the head to the tip of the toe, touch everyone, heal everyone, deliver everyone, set the captive free, manifest the healing right now, manifest the deliverance right now, let there be miracle everywhere, on the left, miracle, in front of me, miracle, on the side, on the right, miracle, Everywhere, anywhere, now miracle in Jesus' name. Confirm it in every life. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It is done. It is done. It is done. Already you will find out there. If you are sitting on the wheelchair, rise up, you can walk. If you have crutches, drop the crutches, you can walk. 
If you were blind, before you are no more blind, open your eyes and see. If you brought anyone deaf and dumb, you can test them now. They can hear, they can speak. All the swelling in your body, everything is gone. The brain problem is gone. Check it up there, check it up there. And as you see what the Lord has done, you shout praise, the Lord will rejoice with you, and then you come out to give your testimony. 